and I'm surprised it would be Smashville. Cloud doesn't really have... I guess Town and City is also really good for Cloud, and then Battlefield is also probably one of his favorites. So it's between FD and Smashville. Yeah, Cloud doesn't really have any bad stages. It's really all matchup dependent. Yeah, I think FD is probably his worst stage. It Again, depends on the matchup. Like, if you're against a person who can't land very well, like, let's say Bowser, you want it, FD. You want to juggle one. But uh, I don't think Shulk really has that many issues landing. Yeah. Nair is uh, pretty silly. Down air, or uh, fair is pretty good. Things like that. Yeah. And then uh, when he's in jump hard, how are you even going to catch him? Well, I don't know. Seabrick actually caught uh, his... It wasn't his two frame, but as dude double jump back to the edge, he caught it with a down tilt. So Seabrick showing some sort of matchup specific knowledge. All right, dude at 130, but he is in shield art, which means he'll be living for quite a long time, oh. unless that happens. Commentator's curse. <laughs> oh, God. Jump art makes so many more combos uh, connect just because of his high aerial mobility. Yeah. I believe Twice in place and then down smash at the end. All right, he did get a uh, limit off that. Ooh, catches the uh, get him up. Then. Going into shield art. Very smart, especially with Seabrig not having his limit break fully charged. There's pretty much no option that'll oh. kill. Solid forward throw from dude. Oh, and going for an air. I wonder if that was a misinput or oh, it was just properly. I mean, right, he should be getting back just fine. Oh no, he didn't have a jump. Yeah, he got hit out of his double jump. Ooh, that's unfortunate. But that was actually a really quick. Entire platform <laughs> covered literally every tech option. That was genius. Yeah, but Seabrick still has a solid lead, and Seabrick's the kind of guy to like spot dodge twice in place and then down smash at the end. All right, he did get a uh, limit off that. Ooh, catches the uh, get him up. Then. Going into shield art. Very smart, especially with Seabrig not having his limit break fully charged. There's pretty much no option that'll oh. kill. Solid forward throw from Dude. Oh, and going for an air. I wonder if that was a misinput or oh, it was just properly. I mean, right, he should be getting back just fine. Oh no, he didn't have a jump. Yeah, he got hit out of his double jump. Ooh, that's unfortunate. But that was actually a really close game. So I'm guessing we're gonna see. Hmm. Actually, I don't know. I mean, I feel like every stage that uh, every stage that uh, Shulk would do good on, Cloud does good on as well. Um, FD is probably one of his better bets, but uh, Dreamland is looking like the pick. Ooh, Meverse. Uh, I'm not quite sure why I chose Meverse over Battlefield, but yeah. Um. I don't know, the platform sizes are slightly different. Yeah, they're slightly larger, but I don't know why. And I guess it's slightly easier to go under the stage. It's, and yeah, it might just be to uh, avoid getting uh, lipped. Yeah, I think that's like probably the main, the main reason. All right, dude uh, with a slight lead. And Seabrick just holding the edge. I'm surprised dude didn't throw out a hitbox to take him off of that. Uh-oh, no double jump? Oh, oh my god. Dead. He missed the <laughs> air dodge just through the ledge and uh, SDs for it. All right, so dude has a huge lead right now. Uh, Seabrick, I guess thinking that dude was going to use that second hit yeah, and like wanted to attempt tech. to tech. Yeah. I don't know if dude like predicted that or just wanted to grab the ledge. I'm not quite sure. Really solid nair to nair. He was looking for that tech in, but I uh, couldn't find it. Oh my god. Back air to four tilt did 38%. <laughs> I mean, dude's just happily uh, attacking on damage. He doesn't really have to uh, do much approaching. It's like, I've got big hitboxes, and I want to beat your big hitboxes. <laughs> <laughs> a really smart just run up cross slash from Seabrick. Yeah, cross slash does a ton of damage, but uh, it is like, you can, uh, if he doesn't do it fast enough, you can oft often get out of it by just DIing up and jumping. Oh, that was a really good spot dodge by dude. I mean, uh, Seabrook had really good movement coming into that, too. He was uh, doing a lot of dash dancing. And Seabrook's movement in Cloud is actually phenomenal. Yeah. Oh, is that a combo? I don't know. And Down throw to Bear? To Rod Bear? I mean, in... It's a stock. Oh, That's a stock, it. yeah. Dude knew. Dude, uh... With a two stock on Seabrook. So, night and day difference between games one and two.
I mean, that LSD kind of just set the tone for the match. Uh, yeah. I'd, with as close as game one was, I wouldn't be surprised if Seabrook just kind of uh, lost hope after game one. Or after that first SD. I'm yeah, sorry. after the SD. Um, but now it's Seabrook's counter pick, and uh, with the way that that game went, I honestly don't think it was that bad, but uh, we might see like a town and city if it wasn't banned. If it was, maybe a battlefield. I mean, he just lost maybe on Maybe a Meverse. dreamland. He just lost on Meverse, which is basically battlefield. FD. FD, right. wow. I really didn't feel like the platforms were helping do too much, but apparently Seabrook disagrees. Yeah. Oh, wow. That was a super good grab from Seabrook. And Seabrook oh. just kind of like getting every read. Oh, my God. These, oh oh my okay. God, these cross slashes. Calm down, buddy. <laughs> oh, I thought I got another one. He so an unanswered 72% right now. Dude getting Seabrook off stage right now. It looks like dude was trying to hit him with the beginning of Nair when he was under the stage. I mean, jump art can lead some, some serious damage in combos that don't normally exist on Shulk. Uh-oh. This is right, no longer kill percent. <laughs> I mean, this is uh, basically even with <laughs> shield art. Uh, Shulk actually becomes, I'm pretty sure the heaviest character in the game, and he gets knockback reduction. Yeah. I may be wrong on that. Well, he takes he takes less uh, percent, so like yeah. in turn he would be taking less knockback. Yeah, if Seabrook had launched that uh the limit, ooh, wow, God, all the way out there. I lost that limit neutral be just a little bit earlier. It actually lips under the stage. Yeah, so it bit. will catch you if you hold the the edge too long. But dude, getting that air dodge read into a fair. I mean, he had all the time in the world. He was a jump art. He's like, I'm getting back. Yeah, he's like, <laughs> he's like, you can stay out here all day. I and die for it. I, I can stay out here today and get back to the stage. He's like, I can go lower than you. Oh, uh, that air dodge. Or those uh, spot dodges. Good oh. early up B. Getting him off him. Yeah, but also solid DI from dude. Uh, holding back towards the stage and not getting spiked. Right, he's got to so be careful. Oh, good option jumping from the ledge. So Seabrick opting to go for the, the cross slash, which I mean, if that times correctly, it covers... Three out of four options. Yeah. It'll cover uh, ledge jump, regular get up, and roll. If you time it right, that is. Oh, that was a super nice oh, space. Right. Nair from Dude, but uh, Seabrick just closing that stock out with the, the falling up air. And uh, Seabrick hitting these. Uh, these Jab combos at low percents. I'm pretty sure Jab comes out. I want to say frame four, but it might be frame five. No idea. Not necessarily fast. I'm pretty sure Shulk's is frame six, though. So I mean, if you're, if you're in a jab war, yep. you're not going to win. Uh, is was that, that a, a thing? Is that a thing? Dude makes me so confused. <laughs> I, I, I'm going to assume it's not a thing, but it might be. Wow. So oh. we actually saw Seabrick burn his limit trying to go for a, a read on a finishing touch but due to just switch into shield art anyway so i don't think it would have killed yeah it's not impossible because they kill super early i mean it doesn't have anything to do with damage so like the damage it has to do with fall speed yeah like the how early it'll kill like it kills fox later than it would kill let's say dk i mean that's all true for most of our, i'm pretty sure all vertical moves all right and uh seabrick has brought this back dude even though he took the first stock is actually at a deficit right now I mean, if he can get uh, Seabrook off the stage, oh he, my God. he's in the advantage right now with Jump Art. This is actually a dead even game. Really uh, solid back here, and we have Seabrook off stage. Seabrook's about to go high. Okay. Don't go too deep. Oh my God, dude. Oh, he's gone. He's gone. Where did he wow. go? <laughs> wow. Oh, no, he's down there. Oh, God. Wow. Dude. I thought that would snap. Oh, God. That, you hate to see it end like that. That was brutal. <sighs> and then he just turned into a diglet and used dig and disappeared. Vitamin. <laughs> right, vitamin, vitamin, vitamin. Oh, right, vitamin? Right, okay, so we have right versus vitamin coming up.